muscle bag with Gwinnett lawns and beautiful. Ooh, not a cloud in that sky. Atlanta, Georgia. Whoa. <clears throat> so it's going to be, well, today is Thursday, July 27th, 2023. Absolutely beautiful day. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better day. Look at that. Got the truck loaded up. She's idling real nice. I have a question. And I'm really perplexed. I can't for the life of me figure this out. Please help me. Please leave a comment down below because I truly don't know the answer to this. Why? Why, why, why would you ever come back to the truck to get string for your trimmer? I see landscapers walking back to their truck all the time with their trimmer in their hand to the spool or the trailer. Why would you do that? That is such a colossal waste of time. Colossal. Look. Get these file clips, right? However much trimmer line you need to restring your trimmer, whatever you're using, take a couple of roll, take a couple of uh, portions of that, and just make these. I just wound them up, and then I have the clips right there. And if you don't want to have it hanging on your trimmer, put them in your pocket. You got pockets, don't you? You put your money in there, but for. <laughs> For the love of of all that's right, why would you? I don't get it. I just I don't get it. And 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 why would you run out of fuel either on the mower or your trimmer or your blower for that matter on the property? Now, if you're there's one exception. If you're doing a property that's so gargantuanly huge that you're gonna use all of your fuel up, I guess maybe you can tote your little one gallon gas can with you, but that's the only reason I, I would see. But check your fuel levels throughout the day. I mean, I don't care what brand of, of trimmer or blower you're using. You can see the level, It's the tank is transparent. I know, I know what you're gonna say. Things happen. And look, to be totally honest, I've run out of fuel before in both of them, well, in all three of them. You know what's really embarrassing is running out of fuel at the customer's yard on the mower. Mmm. One time I legitimately, completely, totally ran out of fuel. I had no fuel left because I didn't, that was back when. I didn't really carry. Let me, show, let me show you something, right? Even this little rig, I do carry, this is just emergency fuel. This is my strategic fuel for the mower. And then I got another one that, that'll last days for the rig. But let me tell you what I had to do. <laughs> I, ran, I ran out of fuel. I had to leave the mower. I had to go home get my gas can and come back. I texted a customer and said, hey, I ran out of fuel. Now, how unprofessional is that? Well, I just didn't check it. So I know how far I can go on my mower and because I'm doing the same yards over and over. So I generally, about halfway through, will fuel up. Uh, obviously, I can go all day but I can go several days on a tank with the blower unless I'm doing leaves or it's really wet and then it's in the morning I'm having to blow a lot of the clippings away but I can still see how much fuel is in there and I have ran out of fuel before on the trimmer because I was too lazy and I had the gas can on the truck what's wrong with me but anyway don't be that guy don't waste time especially with the trimmer string Everybody on your crew should have, I like it on the, I like it on the, uh, the trimmer itself, 
because then you can see like those two spools will last me two days I go through about one a day and I'm using the 0 0.130 line if you're using 095 line you may go through it a little faster seems like the smaller line the, the less it less it uh last depending on what you're using but I used to keep it in my pocket I'd do the same thing I'd wrap it up and keep it in my I'd tie it up with rubber bands and keep it in my pocket but I like it on the trimmer better it doesn't bother me at all but try it just give it a try but don't don't walk back to the truck to restring your trimmer because you can't really you can't see how much line is in the head when it's wrapped up it's not like a gas tank just keep some in your pocket and don't take the walk of shame like I've done many times and I've watched these landscapers there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of landscapers around here and I see them all the time walking back to the truck um so that's just help me help me to understand it help me so i'm going to tell you this i had a weird experience yesterday it was 95 degrees full sun like this and i did my properties so that my last big it was all big yards yesterday the last big yard of the day i made sure that it was the one that was really shady most of it is in shade because of the big oak trees but I was <clears throat> and there's a lot of off camber and hills and stuff like that well I was uh, I could tell I was getting a little dehydrated and I drank a lot of I probably drank near two gallons Gatorade water electrolytes it wasn't enough it wasn't enough so what happened was I'm on the mower right I'm holding on to the trim star and I go to lift my left I can't lift my left arm up like I literally this is how far I could lift it up I'm on the mower I, I mean I just I physically couldn't my brain said lift your arm there was no pain there was no numbness none of that I could not lift it up I couldn't like this much like literally I just I couldn't do it so I'm like this ain't right so I got off the mower and I went to go picking up some sticks and then after about a minute I could lift it all the way up weird man but that's happened to me before when I, I would be leaning like this for like 45 minutes arm not going to sleep or nothing I guess it it's pinching the nerve somewhere and I literally could not lift my arm it's like it was frozen weirdest thing but I think some of it was I was gripping really hard on the mower because I was having to go up on all these off camber around tree uh, balls and all that. Plus the fact I didn't drink enough water. So today's 97, which I like. I like it, but my threshold is my threshold is usually about 95. So um, and there's absolutely no breeze whatsoever. So I'm gonna, it's 8.30 already, and I'm just gonna go get, get to it, but I have extra water with me. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna go get my electrolyte powder and some sea salt. <clears throat> Please stay hydrated out there because getting dehydrated is very dangerous and it is very easy to do. Um, whoa. I don't need that. So sea salt. Okay, it's got. This isn't. This isn't table salt. This isn't sodium chloride. This is actual sea salt, which has got all the minerals in it. This is what your body uses to make electrolytes. And then I've got this. This stuff is a lifesaver. All right, it's got calcium, magnesium, potassium, phosphorus, some other things. So I take that all the time has helped tremendously <clears throat> so i'll put it i think i got a link down in the description i mean not the description well yeah below in the description so it's always down there all right guys well i think that's enough for this video i will talk to you guys on the next one